The first two phases for these guys is pretty simple. When the boss rotates his fist like this, be prepared for his projectile burst attack. The trick to dodging it is to just hold down the control stick to crouch and only jump when he fires his lowest attack. When the taller boss fires the flaming bugs, just line yourself up so that you're directly underneath them and fire straight up. This makes hitting them a breeze. When the short boss assumes a rolling position, prepare to jump. It's a really slow attack and has a bit of a delay to it, so don't worry about timing, just take your time with it. For the second phase, you'll be stuck between the two bosses. Just keep moving to the right and firing at the boss facing you. When the boss to the left launches his bouncing balls at you, just use the momentum from the wind to dodge them. You'll be in a relatively safe position if you stay near the middle of the two bosses. At the end of the second phase, both bosses will crouch down as if they're about to roll, but only the one on the left will do so. His roll won't have a delay this time, so be ready to jump over it. For the first part of the slot machine phase, just dodge the coins. When the lever turns pink, double jump on it to parry it. If you get the orange ball cycle, focus on dodging the attacks and firing blindly rather than aiming at the boss. After you jump over each obstacle, move a little to the left to give yourself room for the next jump. I'm going to speed through this next cycle because it's the same thing. For the spike platforming cycle, jump over every other platform to make it easy. When he speeds up the platform, you can safely jump over two platforms at a time. Okay, and that's it for the boss. Thanks for watching and see you next time.